In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a SNS topic that triggers a Lambda function. And so this is going to be a step-by-step -step video in the console. I'm going to explain to you all the settings along the way. And I'm also going to show you how to set this up for cross-account SNS to Lambda if your topic is in one account and your Lambda function is in another, which is a very common setup in uh, large organizations. Um, so the first thing that we need to do is either start with the topic or the Lambda function, uh, the SNS topic that is. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one you start with, but for this uh, demonstration, we're going to start with the SNS topic. Uh, so you can just type in SNS up here. It should bring us to that section of the console. Go ahead and click it there. Um, so this is the home page. You can see we have no topics right now. Uh, so obviously we need to go ahead and create a topic. So let's go to the left and click on topics. And now you can either click on create topic here or in the top right. So let's do that now. And now come the massive amount of options that you need to sift through to understand uh, what kind of topic you want to create. Uh, just really quick and a fly through these. Uh, if you want first in, first out, then you want a FIFO topic. This will ensure that all messages are delivered in the order that they are received. There's also exactly once message delivery, a high throughput. However, it's quite a bit lower than the standard. And the only subscription protocol that is supported is SQS, which is another service called Simple Q service, uh, which I have a video on which you should check out. Now, standard is the kind of a classic version of the SNS topic. This has best effort message ordering, at least once delivery, uh, much, much higher throughput. And also it has some other subscription protocols here, like you can see. So SQS, Lambda, HTTP, SMS, email, so on and so forth. Obviously, we need to connect this to a Lambda function. So in our case, we are indeed going to be using the standard version of the queue. Um, or the topic rather. So just name your topic whatever you want. Mine's just gonna be demo topic here. Let's run through some of the other settings here really quick. Uh, so encryption, uh, encryption at rest in this case. Encryption at rest just means that when the SNS service receives your message, when you try to publish a message to your topic, of course they need to save it somewhere on, in their database. Um, so enabling encryption at rest here will make it so that while it's at rest, it is encrypted and not just plain text. Um, then you have an access policy here. Um, by the way, encryption, I'm not going to set it up here for this. There's no real reason for me to, but if you require it, you can go ahead and enable it. Okay, so access policy. Access policy basically tells um, SNS who can subscribe to the topic and who can receive messages uh, from the topic and who can publish messages to the topic. Now, they do have some default settings here um, that you can pick from or uh, just suggested options rather. So basic or advanced. Uh, basic just allows you to select from these uh, different pre-selected options here. Advanced allows you to customize the policy template like you have over here. Um, if you know what you're doing with IAM, you probably want to do this um, with the policy template directly. But let's just use basic and I'll explain to you what's going on here. So the first thing that we need to understand is define who can publish messages to the topic. Do we want only the account owner, which is us in this case? Do we want everyone, so people outside of our AWS accounts? Or do we want other AWS accounts? And in particular, which specific ones? So which specified AWS accounts? Now, typically, um, you only... Well, I guess if you're using SNS in a service-oriented architecture style, uh, you only really want yourself to be the one to be able to publish messages to your topic. Uh, if you have a case where you need multiple people to publish to your SNS topic, that sounds weird and you're probably doing something wrong, but I can't say for sure without knowing uh, your use case a little more. Uh, in that case, you would want to use this one. And uh, you have to fill out the SNS, uh, sorry, uh, AWS accounts here uh, in um, comma separated order. Uh, everyone should always be avoided. Um, this is not a good idea at all. So we're just going to leave this as um, only the topic owner for now. Now, the second part is who can subscribe to this topic? Now, um, we can similarly do it only for ourselves. We can make it so that anyone with any AWS accounts can subscribe. You definitely don't want to do this. Only the specified AWS accounts, um, which is kind of similar to what we said here, only the, the whitelist or the allow list that you set up here and only requesters with certain endpoints. Um, not exactly sure what this one means. I think they just added this. So only requesters whose endpoints match specific value can subscribe to the topic. I see. So if you're using like an HTTP endpoint for this, you can add kind of like a whitelist here for only specified endpoints here can um, subscribe. 
Anyways, you, you probably don't want to use this very often either. Uh, the ones you'll probably use more are only the AWS, only the specified AWS accounts or only the topic owner. So what happens now if you want to set this up with like cross account permissions? Like you want someone else um, for like you have one account, which is this account. We're going to create the topic. You want to subscribe someone um, with a Lambda function in a different AWS account. How do you do that? Um, so there's this really good um, documentation here that sh walks through how to set this up. Uh, so it turns out you only need two different permissions to subscribe. Uh, so what has to happen is that account A, which is the SNS topic owner, grants permissions to account B to subscribe to the topic. This is the command that you can use. Um, however, these are the two IAM actions that you need in order to grant um, the subscribee, I guess you can say, permissions to be subscribed. Um, so that's how that works here. And then the um, account B will then go ahead and subscribe itself to the topic that you create. And account B will know which topic to create because our SNS topic has an ARN, which we're going to provide um, the account B holder. Uh, so that's generally how that works. Now let's go back here. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it for the access policy. Um, for the delivery retry policy, this has a lot of detail here that you can kind of walk through and try to understand. Uh, let's just go through this really quick. So you can specify it to use the default, which are just these settings here, or provide your own settings. Um, if you click on this button here, it will allow you to add your own here. So you can change this to five and it changes over here. Uh, but let's just use default. Um, so when SNS fails to deliver a message, it will automatically retry if you're using the default delivery policy. Um, so let's understand what each of these options mean. So first of all, number of retries, how many times do you want to? All right, so retries without delay. So how many of your three retries do you want to occur immediately, right after the failure occurs? Generally, this is not a good idea, which is why the default is zero. Uh, what's the minimum amount of time you want for your delay and the maximum amount of time? So you can set a range here. If you set these to both the same numbers, it's just gonna be exactly that number, so 20 seconds in this case. Uh, minimum delay retries, maximum delay retries, pretty self-explanatory. If you want to kind of rate limit your um, receive rate, then you can set up a, I believe it's in a TPS format here. Uh, the type of algorithm you want to use for your retry back off. So you can use linear, which is basically, um, you know, a fixed rate. So wait for one second, then wait for another one second, then wait for another one second. You can have exponential, which is wait for one second, then wait for two seconds, then wait for four seconds, and then eight, uh, so on and so forth. And then um, whether or not you want to set override subscription policy here. Uh, so you can take a look at these settings a little bit more in detail if you click on info and um, go and click this, but um, we're not going to get into that here. Uh, delivery status logging, if you want your SNS messages to be logged um, in terms of their delivery uh, receipt from the user on the other end. Keep in mind, this can get really, really expensive. So if you do use this, um, set a sampling rate that is relatively small. Um, however, maybe you want to know whether or not all of your clients are receiving your messages. The only way to know that is to have this as 100%, which is uh, why I said it's pretty expensive. Um, but we're not going to be using that here, so let's skip that. Let's go to create topic now. And yeah, now we have our topic, demo topic here. So if we go back into topic, click on demo topic, we can see we're in the same section. So we, we have access to all those different options. Again, subscriptions, access policy, delivery retry, all that stuff we just did is right here. Uh, so you can come back and change this later. So now what we need to do is we need to go to the subscription section and click on create subscription. And for us, we want to set the protocol to be a Lambda function. Uh, problem is we don't have a Lambda function created yet because we haven't done that yet. Uh, so let's pause really quick and go and do that now. So let's duplicate this tab. And then we're gonna go to the Lambda section in the console. We're just gonna spin up a really quick function using Python. Gonna go to create function. We're gonna name this um, demo SNS receiver. And we are going to use uh, Python 3.9. This is fine. Permissions. Uh, yeah, we don't really need to do anything for a default execution role here. We can leave that as default. Advanced settings. We don't need any of this. We're just going to disable that. Go ahead and click on create function now. And this may take a moment because it needs to create the IAM permission associated with this. Okay, so that is done. Uh, first thing we want to do is just copy the ARN, which is right here. We can click on that button. I'm going to copy that to clipboard. Um, in our Lambda function code, the first thing I always do in every Lambda function is I just print the incoming event. 
because uh, that's going to tell us uh, what the incoming message format looks like. Uh, let's click on deploy really quick and we're pretty much good to go on this side. Uh, let's go into our SNS um, create subscription section again. We may have to refresh. Actually, since we get to put in our ARN here, we can just uh, put that in directly. This should work and um, subscription filter policy. If you have a uh, SNS topic where you want to publish messages with certain attributes, you can give the ability for users to filter on um, those attributes so that the subscription maybe only cares about a subset of the attributes. Um, you can set that up here so we'll only get messages published to it if that um, subscription criteria ma matches the message attribute. Um, but not going to touch that here. Uh, redrive policy in case you on the SNS um, delivery side fail to deliver. Uh, you can set up a, a dead letter queue, which is an SQS queue here, in case you want to uh, save those messages for later. Maybe you need to redrive them. I'm going to go ahead and click on create subscription now. Um, should be pretty much good to go uh, to test this out. So let's do that now. Um, actually, before I do that, let's go back to, to Lambda really quick and verify that it's connected on its side. So if I refresh the page here, you can now see we have uh, SNS as a trigger. We never had this before. If you click on this, you can see the trigger is our demo topic. So we seem to be good to go here. Let's go back and publish a message. So how do I actually do that from here? I think we got to go back to topics, demo topic, um, and publish message. There it is. Um, and let's say subject is test. We don't need any of this. And let's say, um, I don't know, data, ABC123 and no message attributes we're going to publish that message and we should see in our lambda function here if we go to monitoring and sometimes it takes a moment i think it collects every five minutes on cloudwatch metrics so you're not going to see the logs right away um, so i'm going to go to view logs in cloudwatch where they will be available right away and we should see a message that contains that ABC123 thing. Uh, so we have our log stream here, which is good. We have an entry, which means something happened. And here we go. So we see start of the request. We see uh, our log line here where we printed everything out. Let's expand this really quick. And inside the message section here is um, our, our JSON object. So data ABC123. And um, you can see this is within a JSON dictionary, so within the records section of that. And then within records, uh, within each one, it's within the message section. That's where our actual data is here. So your business logic should probably like extract this stuff out and do something with it. Uh, so that's how you set this up. Hopefully this video was useful. If you want to learn more about SNS, SQS, Lambdas, check out these other ones on the right and left. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.